know, th this unit is a special unit. Um, you know, a lot of people are looking at us right now and saying that we're very young, we're very inexperienced, and they're exactly right. Um, we returned two players with the most game experience in Brittany Jones um, and Amanda Peterson. Uh, our other players that are returning have played spot minutes here and there. Uh, we have a couple of, we have four freshmen, uh, three that will definitely play, one that will be out due to knee surgery until January, and then we'll kind of just play it by ear in terms of whether or not she'll play in January or if she'll redshirt. I think the biggest thing with this team, although they have a lack of playing experience overall, um, they have very good team chemistry, uh, great team camaraderie, um, and this is the biggest team actually I've ever coached, I mean in terms of size. I mean we really now have true low post size, and we have Amanda Scott who's back who's 6'3", who plays in the low post, but is primarily a high post player, plays on the perimeter a little bit, she's a finesse player. Uh, Taronda Randall, who's about 6'3 and a half, long, lanky, who is definitely a back to the basket player. Uh, Megan Brown, who's a freshman as well, she's 6'5. We're, we're hoping that we'll have Megan full force by the end of November. She had knee surgery back in June, um, the uh, partial patella tendon tear. Um, so we'll have some definite size on the low block. Uh, I'm just really excited about this team. You know, we've got you know some uh, some youth on the perimeter, um, and Matika Trueheart, uh, to, uh, Tamika Dukes finally gets an opportunity to play. She went to uh, Wallace Hansville for two years for junior college. Had to sit out last year due to an injury, and is now back. Um, Ashley Jackson, who did not get a chance to play last year because we were so loaded on the perimeter. So we have a lot of new faces, names that people don't don't know, haven't heard, but they're working really hard. They're doing the things that we're asking them to do. Um, and I think we're going to surprise some people. I really do. I think that if they continue with their positive attitude, um, their strong, strong work ethic, um, and they, they want to be good, and they want to win, and practices have been the most competitive than they've, as they've been since I've been here. Don't know a whole lot about Montevallo, but I do know Brittany Ezell very, very well from her playing days at Alabama, her coaching days at Alabama. She was coaching down at Oklahoma Walton, and now she's at Montevallo. Very good coach. Um, we kind of jokingly uh, saw each other, I think, in the mall, and we're talking about the game, and she said, well, we'll be playing a lot of zone. Um, so she's taking on a program with a lot of new players, um, and so I'm expecting them to play us a lot of zone. Uh, what we're looking to do is right now, we had a scrimmage this past weekend, a close scrimmage. Our main focus right now is to see what our best unit is. We, I, I have an idea in my mind in terms of a starting lineup, um, so we need to get our rotation down in terms of who's actually going to start, who's coming off the bench first. Um, and also, I would like to see how, how we're continuing to progress you know, on the offensive end and the defensive end. The defensive end is the biggest, going to be the biggest part for us. In our close scrimmage, you know, we're not supposed to keep score, but we kind of kept some stats on our own. And we scored 69 points, which is great, which is more than enough points to win a game. I've never been concerned about our offense. It's just the defensive end in terms of being able to shut people down and stop people. So that's going to be our main focus against Montevallo. I know she's got some athletes on her team. Um, she mentioned, as I said before, about playing a lot of zones. So we've been working on some things offensively um, to play against the zone. We've also put in our own zone um, because we may have to play them some zone, depending upon you know what their offensive sets are. But mainly with a, with, a, with an exhibition game, you know, we're looking to um, see you know who shines, you know, see who kind of steps up and shows us some things, and we're looking for that in practice in practice as well. But it's just a different scenario when the lights come on, and the popcorn starts popping, and it's game time. Sometimes you know you find out that you have what I like to call gamers. They kind of come alive and show you some things in games that they wouldn't normally do in practice. Amanda is unbelievable. I mean, she has to be the hardest working player I've ever coached in my 15 years of coaching. She does so many things on her own when no one's watching. I mean, literally, she'll come in the gym, she's shooting, getting extra shots in on the gun, she'll grab a coach and ask the coach to rebound for her, she wants to watch film. She does everything beyond what we ask her to do to get better. Um, she felt like, you know, she didn't want to be known for just as just being a shooter, primarily a shooter. So what she decided to do is she didn't want to work on her mid-range game. So she's been working on her, you know, one-two pull-up jumpers. She's been working on her runners to the basket. Um, she wants to be a better defender, so she's been looking at watching some film and, and, and getting instruction from our guard coach in terms of what she needs to do to be a better defender. She's just, you know, she's just a great kid, wonderful student, outstanding student. Um, I was teasing her the other day because she was talking about her anatomy class, and I said, you know what, that anatomy, you're going to have to drop that. You know, we need to focus on basketball. I, mean, I, was, I was kidding her, but, you know, she was, you know, she has a B in the class, and she's panicking, but, you know, that's just, a, that's just a P, as you call it. You know, she's very competitive in the classroom, just as she is on the court. Uh, ideal teammate, ideal teammate, will give the shirt off her back to her teammate, and she, you know, to her teammates, and she wants to win, she wants them to be good, very supportive, great leader, um, has all the intangibles and all the qualities that I think every coach would learn. We're just, you know, our schedule is uh, as tough as it's always been. We've got, you know, we tease it, we tease a lot of times and say that you know we're the uh, 15th team in the in the SEC, considering we're playing so many SEC schools. 
Um, but we got we have to do that. You know, that, that's that's good for us to step it up and play those types of teams of, the, of that caliber. It helps us in terms of strength of scheduling and RPI. Um, we're looking to sneak up on some folk. Um, and that's a great measuring stick for us, too, to kind of see where we are, and it helps prepare us for conference play. So we're getting ready. I mean, we're, you know, it's here. November's here, and, you know, we're going to go out and give it everything we got like we always do.